What's up guys, today I'm here at Clearview Mall in Butler, Pennsylvania. We're going to Aces Breakaway and play, playing some arcade games. Uh, we're gonna try Redemption Games, Ticket Games, just see what we can win, if anything. And uh, here we go guys, if you're ready, it's arcade time. All right guys, first game we're gonna try is Winner's Cube here. Oh, that dollar has a fold on it. It's not gonna take that. What am I doing here? That's all right. Uh, you can see the lower rows are kind of empty here. Uh, so we're gonna go for the higher rows. Maybe something's ready, we'll see. Always go for the gift cards, cause what they do at Aces, uh, when you contact Patty, she's the one who handles it all. Um, she's the owner, well, owner's wife. She'll just give you cash for it. You just meet them up at one of the Aces locations where they are and they'll take care of you. So we'll start at the top, work our way down, see if anything's ready. Oh, I let go too early. Uh, this is the long wait right here. This thing, actually, it's funny, guys. The, the one guy that works here, his name's Mark. Really cool dude. Um, he actually had to, like, rebuild this game. So they couldn't get parts for it. But he's such a technical wizard that, like, he fixes all the games here when they break. And he, like, programmed, like, he figured out, like, the motors and the programming, how far to make it do it, make it stop again. Like, he had to, like, rebuild this game. It's crazy. I'm so glad he was able to do it to keep it here because this is one of the fun games here for sure, especially when you win it. Nah, that's getting me. Well, top row is not ready. I think I'm the only person that ever plays for that top row, so eventually it's gonna be ready. One day. <laughs> uh, next row down, there's a gift card there, so we'll try for that one. I know it's got Wii U and Galaxy Tablet and all that stuff, but don't need any of that, guys. Don't need a Kindle. Don't need. I take the. I'll take the cash money, please. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this, uh, the gift card here. Let's see if it's ready. Uh, I don't know if that was mean. It is definitely, <clears throat> definitely where the deviation goes. But I may have held the button a little too long there for that one. So we'll try that one again. Cause I, I think I screwed up when I was trying to hold the button. I think I held it too long myself. So guys, while we're doing this, please, if you could hit that thumbs up button for me on the video, it's very much appreciated. And, oh, that go too early. Oh man. And this thing has such a precise deviation point, it's crazy. And if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button for me. It's very much appreciated there. It's free to do, it doesn't cost you a thing. So go ahead and uh, hit those buttons for me if you could. Thank you. All right. Let's try this again. Let's not stop it low. Let's get a win. That'd be cool, man. Get a win. I haven't won on this game in a while. Oh, I like it too early again. Wow, look how close that is. Oh my God. It's right there. It's literally right there. <laughs> this game has been abused a little bit over the years. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera here, but there's some smudges and marks. And there's actually some scratches up here. See like right here on the camera between the two prizes. So, yeah, this game has definitely been abused over the years by the kids that come in here, people that come in here. But you know, never know when it's gonna be ready. Maybe it's ready, maybe it's not. Nope, I deviated. Okay, that was definitely not me that time. All right, next row we have, well, a $100 gift card or a $300 gift card. As you guys know how Winner's Cube works, it's pay out by the row. So always go for the most expensive item. Because when it's ready, why not get the most expensive item, right? So we're gonna line up here with Groupon and then come up to the $300 Visa gift card level and see if it's ready. It'd be awesome if it is. Oh, that is so freaking close, man. Did you guys see that? Oh. Again, this game is so tough. It's, it's so hard to tell when it deviates or not. Like, it's one of those ones like, it's not like Keymaster where it's kind of blatantly obvious because these holes are so much smaller. So it's like, oh. oh my God. Do you see that? See, and like, 
I think right there where I'm putting it is literally like millimeters before the deviation point. That would be so cool to, to win this. Be cool if this row is ready, man, because they have a switch over there and everything, but I'm going for $300. Let's do it. Come on, please win. I want to win one so bad. Ah, oh, nope. That deviated. So I did hit the deviation point after all. So what I do now, guys, is I kneel down on one knee because my eyes are actually just above. They're about this level right here. So these lower rows, I have to kneel down because I'm so damn tall. <laughs> so let's see if we get this $150 gift card here. Here we go. Uh, I don't know if that was me or not. <laughs> Oh man, putting our dollar in. Anybody want to keep track how many dollars I spend on this? Put it in the comments below, guys. How much did I spend on this trying to win? Let me know what you guys uh, think, and then people that are correct, I don't know. Oh man, that was so close. Oh my god. So guys, what I do is I have, when I go to bank, my ATM at my bank allows me to pull out $1 bills, 40 at a time. So I usually do about $150 worth. Um, so I keep them on me just in case I ever need to play games like this, <laughs> you know? Let's see if this is ready. Dude, if this row is ready, that would be freaking awesome. I actually won this row before, guys. You remember the video where I won a 39 inch LCD TV? They really need to update that prize a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> LCD TVs haven't really been a thing in, oh, I don't know. I gotta try it one more time. I'm sitting here talking to you and I'm not paying attention. So I have no idea if it's ready or not. If like, if I held the button too long accidentally or not. All right. But anyways, as I say, LCD TVs haven't really been a thing. And I mean, they still make them, but they're just so not around anymore. Everything's LED. Oh my, look how close that is. See, and this is where I spend all my money because I never know when it's deviating or not because this thing is so precise. And guys, yeah, Mark had to calibrate this thing individually. Oh, dude, is it? I don't know if it's ready or not. I put out a short on this that I filmed like a couple months ago and I was almost positive it was ready until it deviated on me. I thought for sure it was gonna, it was gonna be ready. All right, here we go. Nope, nope, that I, as soon as I let go of the button, it still moved up. Nope. So you guys can see how precise that hitting the lower part of it is. Oh, all right, so we'll try it for the $50 gift card here. See if that's ready. And then if that's not ready, we'll try for subway at the bottom and then move on to the next game. Oh, look how close that is. Seriously, I'm literally right below the deviation point. Like it's literally right there. <laughs> oh my God. I freaking wanna just win one, please. If I win this, I'll pretty much break even on this game. Oh, okay, that's a little bit higher than the normal deviation point. But again, I can never tell, guys. I can never freaking tell because I'm an idiot. Now, because this game is so tough, it's so precisely set. Like I said, it is a game of millimeters, literally a game of millimeters. And oh, I'm pretty sure that deviated on me. I'm like 99% sure that deviated. All right, let's go for Subway. See if this is ready. It'll be fun. I like a good Subway sandwich. Guys, you like Subway? If you do, let me know in the comments. Oh my God, it's so close. It's so freaking close. You guys hear that flip? That's me getting a dollar out of, uh, out of the wad there. It's right next to the, I'm holding it with my camera hand, so you guys are gonna hear that, I'm sorry. All right, come on, Subway, be ready. Nope. 
That deviated, I think. The bottom row is always the hardest one because I can never tell because it's such a quick stop. It's like, boom, you know, one more try. I'd like to get a win. A win would be awesome, man. Come on, let's do this. Nope, that deviated. Okay, that 100% deviated, so darn it. Oh, guys, that was winner's cube. Moving on to the next game. All right, guys, the next game we're gonna do is jump a jackpot. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the one quarter test. Uh, you guys have seen this in my how to video. And honestly, this pad, you don't have to lift your foot high. I, I did. I had to select it, so. You don't have to lift your foot high, guys, on this. You literally just lift it up enough to go like this, look. So you don't have to jump like crazy, but we're gonna see how fast the lights go in near the tee. No. Nope. So it's close, but it's not there yet, guys. So uh, what I do is why I do that one quarter test, I see how slow the light's going when it's over by the O and the T. If it's a lot slower than that right there that you guys saw, it's ready. So what you'll do is purposely fail and then put three coins in, hit the third coin jackpot because they're all the same skill level. It's all the same. Now what happens is this game has a, it's called auto adjust. It gets easier with every loss, okay? very slightly easier and when you get a win it goes back to the default setting of hardest so yep that was jumping jack well, guys that one's not ready all right guys time for some old school slam a winner here uh jackpot is 138 just glitched there it was weird um we have 11 plays on now why do i do 11 because 12 would be three dollars but i spent a quarter on jumping jackpot if you guys remember so i try to like keep it even in my tube of quarters so that one quarter equals 12. let's see if we get this jackpot oh that was so close on the first play in and out of 25 into two Oh, again, in and out of that jackpot. Into five. Oh. Oh, that was a swirl into five. Let's see if we can get you a good view here. Oh my God, that was totally in there. Rolled into one. Oh, that one fell fast. I think there's some different balls in here. Looks like I got some new ones in here. Oh, waiting for a ball to load. You guys can see it on the left side of the screen there. See the belt moving? Still waiting for that ball. There it is. It's loaded. Oh. Nine? Okay, nine's not bad. There we go. Swished it right through, guys. Jackpot. Nice. Oh, almost. Oh, almost a rolling. Oh, you guys didn't quite see that one. three yep into the three all right waiting for a ball to load we got two credits left here Let's see if we can get our one ball in and out into the one and last shot oh i thought that was it oh into the one do you guys remember the one that i filmed here years ago it was bouncing on the jackpot ring until about right here and i went in it was literally bouncing the whole way around until here and it went into the jackpot. That was the craziest jackpot I've ever won from this game. Um, oh, I'm not getting any tickets out of there. I'm gonna have to go tell him. So yeah, uh, we didn't get any tickets. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll go tell him guys, but we're moving on to the next game. All right guys, next game we're gonna play is Old School Speed Demon. You remember this when the ball shoots up, you plunger it like that and hope it goes into one of the reds here. Once it goes into the red, you move up here to the outer circle. You wanna hit one of these three arrows on the outer circle, that'll move you to the second row. Then you wanna hit one of those three arrows on the second, oh sorry, two row arrows on the second row. I thought that was, I thought that was one on the second row, but it is not. So you hit this one or this one, and then you move into the third row. And if you hit this arrow, you get that jackpot in the middle. Now I have been here guys off camera before in the past, and this thing's been up to like 700 ticket jackpot. And you notice it goes up by one every time I put a quarter in. So let's see if we can get that first shot maybe, right? I've done before. Nope, that's gonna be uh, three tickets. So it's all it's nice because it's only one quarter a play. 
So when those tickets are like way up there and you can do it in like one or two quarters, it's beautiful. Oh, darn it. Three again. Whoop, oh, there it goes. Didn't sound like it went in at first. That was weird. Give me the red. No, yes, no, yes, no. Oh, it's like flinging all over the place and into a three. <laughs> that was some drama, huh? We love that ball flinging up there. Come on, give me red. Oh my God, my last quarter I had in my hand, guys. I had four quarters. All right, so now we're up here and you notice that light's moving around the ring. Hit that arrow like that. And then you go to the second ring like that. And then you hit that third arrow. Oh, I pushed it early. It is not rigged, guys. This is literally, you can literally hit this jackpot every single time with every quarter if you uh, get it in the red every time. You can literally, it's all about this right here. You got to get it in the red. That's the hard part of it. So, and, oh, another red. Wow, look at that. Two in a row. All right, that one's easy. This one's semi easy. And this one is actually pretty easy for me. I'm just surprised that I screwed it up there we go 250 tickets not bad guys look at that nice jackpot there we go got a speed even jackpot in just a couple of plays i have my quarters ready you guys can see we've been playing down on them a little bit you can see where it is in the tube see the shadow <laughs> but there you go that was speed demon these old school arcades here at aces guys they play they pay physical tickets check this out and uh, they went to look at the slam winner, but we'll, we'll give you an update on that one and uh, we'll see what happens. But check out those tickets coming out here. All right, guys, so sad news. Unfortunately, the worker who is here today, uh, they do know me, um, so they know I can film and everything. But sadly, they do not have the ability to refill the tickets. Um, they've been busy, they said, and this one usually runs out the most frequent out of any of the games. So unfortunately, no tickets there, but they, they did give me credit for them. So uh, just be honest with them, guys. If something like that happens, just go tell them right away. Say, hey, uh, you know, I didn't get any tickets out of the game, and they'll ask you, you know, how many did you win? Just be honest, uh, because again, it's a small arcade, mom and pop place. You know, I know there's a couple locations, but just be cool about it. They'll hook you up, and you'll be good. So, all right, moving on to the next game. All right, guys, Stacker is our next game. Gonna try to win one of these major prizes, the $100 gift cards. Again, same as Winner's Cube. If you get the gift card, they give you cash. Now, I don't know about here, but you gotta meet up, like I said, with uh, Patty is usually the one who handles it. She's uh, Carl's wife. Carl is the owner. Really cool uh, older couple. They're really nice. They're really up on the times of arcades, too. Like the Moreauville Mall location of Aces has... Um, Marvel, the Marvel coin pusher, which is really cool. All right, so minor prize is ready. Should always be ready. We don't want that. We want a major prize. Let's see. We got two chances because it's 50 cents a play. And see if we can get this here. See if it doesn't skip on us. Look how fast that's going. It's one of the fastest stackers I ever play, guys. Seriously. Oh, I don't know if that skipped or if that was me. Oh. This one goes so fast, it's hard to tell if it's me or the, or the uh, you know, the payout not being ready yet. And the thing is, the payout about this game, it's technically a game of skill because you can technically win it every time. One of these days, like I said, I'm going to have to do a, uh, a thing on it that shows you guys how I think it works. Okay. Watch it make it to the top this time, ready? Oh, no. oh that was me. <laughs> All right, two more shots at it. We got another dollar. See what happens. And you guys always ask, why do I put the stacker, like when it gets down to a single block, why do I always put it one away from the edge? Why not just stick with the edge? And the reason for that is so I know if it skips me or not. But that's just my personal preference. You can put it wherever you want. You can put it left, right, center, you know, however you feel like you want to do it. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Please be ready. Come on, one time. I've never won a major here, ever. Oh, that skipped. Damn it, one time would be nice. Just one time, please. Let's see how fast we can get up to the top here. I'm gonna try to go as quick as I can, guys. I had to move my hand back, so. Oh, that skipped. <laughs> so couldn't even make it to the top that time. Oh, well. Guys, Stacker, one day I'm gonna win the major here. One day at Aces, I will hit that major. But until then, let's move on to the next game. All right, guys, you see me in the reflection there? Hello, the old toy house claw machine here. Check this out. This uh, fish. I don't know what the hell it is, is hanging over the edge of the chute. I wonder if we can just tilt it up in. So put a dollar in, I think it's 50 cents play. No, it's a dollar play, ooh, okay. So this could get pricey. I'm gonna try to go behind it here and see if we can tilt it up in. Yeah, can see that's hanging over. If we could just tilt the back, it might go up in. Let's see here. Problem is I don't know how this claw spins, so. Um, okay, does it have strength? Ooh, okay, I gotta come a little bit more forward, I think. I gotta come a little bit more towards us. When I say forward, I mean towards us. When I say backwards, I mean the actual back of the machine. Some people say forward the way they're facing and they mean to go that way and then backwards this way. I use it in the sense of the actual machine itself. All right, I'm gonna go like right over the yellow red stripe. Let's see if that it gets a little bit more forward here. I think I'm gonna move a little bit to the right. All right, let's see. Um, okay. Oh, oh my God, that has strength. Wow, did you guys see how strong that was? It literally pulled it back off the prize chute. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, Toy House, these are set strength machines. So these are not payout based. The claw will grab the same strength every single time. I wonder if we can just get around it and I mean it's a bigger prize but the claw is the right side oh look there's a baby Yoda tucked in the corner here man why is he got to put in the worst place I wonder if you can get a well I didn't see it didn't go down all the way see what happened there is the claws were touching the sides of the prize just enough to cause the resistance up here to stop and say hey the claws all the way down so that's what happened there unfortunately you can't get it around that way um wow um, and again, timer doesn't start on these till you move the joystick, guys. So figure out what you want to go for before you move it. I'm thinking maybe this wolf right here. Let's see if we can get him by the head. This does have a good strength to it. So it's, it, it is a pretty fair strength, it looks like. Um, I should have went further to the left. Yeah, did you see it tried to lift them, but... All right, I'm going to try for this weird thing one more time. Last dollar on this. We do have a unicorn thingy, like pony unicorn. I'm gonna try for this thing one more time, but I'm gonna go back a little bit further again. Again, use the angles to your advantage, especially when you have the space to do it. Now, if somebody's playing air hockey, obviously you don't have space, but we're gonna try it right there. Let's see. Now, eh, see, I stabbed it. That's not gonna work well. Holy, did you see that? I almost picked it up. Okay. Okay, um, just based off the strength of this claw, I mean, ugh, it's one of those, I don't know, I can't tell. It's sitting in an okay position, but I could use my angles. I'm hoping it slides off of it like that. Yeah, see, it didn't get under, okay. Well, all right, guys, that's, that's it for the Toy House. It's expensive a play, it's a dollar a play. Um, nothing's really super gettable right now, so yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna move on. All right, it looks like the last game we're going to play today, guys, is the treasure wheel here. We're going to uh, go for I got two plays here. It's 50 cents a play as I just dropped my quarters everywhere. And I got two. I got another play over there. You can see it says, kind of says spin, but biggest one on this wheel, guys, is that thousand tickets there going around. While that's spinning, let me get down here and grab my other quarter. There we go. 
Well, it's not gonna be a thousand. All right, fifteen's okay. It's better than five. <laughs> Three times higher than the uh, the lowest amount on the wheel, which is next to those diamond things. We'll try one more time here. Uh, let's spin it the other way. Yeah. It's not gonna be a thousand. Oh, maybe. Wait, slow down, slow down. Oh, it just slipped off of it. Oh my god, that'd have been a great way to end the video, man. Oh, if it had stayed just a. Oh my god, that was literally so close. Oh, oh well. Oh man, that's just disappointing right there. That was just. Oh, I can't believe it. Ah, <sighs> darn it. Okay, so I cashed in uh, 503 tickets today, plus all the redemption play. Unfortunately, we didn't win anything out of those, but as you can see, guys, this is how we do it. I have 26,042 tickets saved here at all the aces, and as you guys know, what I do is the Arcade Santa stuff at the end of the year. I will, uh, you know, come around to all these and give them away as much as I can, you know, whenever I see kids or, um, you know, just people around that uh, want to get something bigger from the top shelf there. Like you can see, they got some good stuff up there, like that puppy's picnic play set. That's kind of cool. The air hockey table, the pool table. So, yeah, they got some cool stuff up there, uh, those bigger ticket prizes. That's usually what I give away. Um, or I'll tell the kids, hey, you know, I'll give you like 4,000 tickets to spend or something, you know. And then they can look at all the neat little toys down here, too, you know, the different things they have down here. So, but yeah, this was uh, Butler, guys, like I said. And uh, today is March 14th. I'm dating it, you know, so you guys can see when the video was recorded as to when it was released. But there you go. That's how we do it here. All right, guys, so that was the arcade play here at Aces Breakaway and Play inside Clearview Mall inside Butler. Well, inside Butler, in Butler, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I guess it's kind of inside. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. We had a lot of fun. Um, they did give me like 200 tickets for a slam a winner there because of the tickets being out of order, as you guys saw. Um, they'll get it refilled, trust me. I'm sure he's placing a call right now as we talk to uh, the guy that comes around and maintenance the machines and says, hey, we need tickets and we need them now. Uh, <laughs> anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, wish we could have won Winner's Cube or Stacker or something awesome for that. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already during the video. And as always, guys, from the general to the army, stay safe, take care of each other. Always have a positive mental attitude. And as we always say, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya.